is unbelievable. It's like four seasons in one day. We've got hail now. It's nine o'clock on Sunday morning. Yesterday, we picked up this boat, uh, the Joy, the Ode to Joy from Black Prince Boating Holidays. It's a beautiful boat. We picked it up yesterday, did a small amount of work, about an hour, going through a couple of locks, and this morning it is nine o'clock. So here we are, people. It's nine o'clock, Sunday morning. We're about to set off. We're gonna go up the tardy big flight of locks. That's 30 locks. That's this morning's chore. I'm really looking forward to it. Should be brilliant. We've got two weeks on this boat, Two weeks, three men, one narrow boat. We're going to do a huge circle. That's the plan. So if you want to come along and join us, it should be an adventure. I'm on a boat with two cooks. Hmm, what could possibly go wrong? Right, OK, Robs, you done that one? The first lock is about 20 seconds this way. <laughs> the adventure begins. I can't wait. It should be really, really good fun. Let you off here, Robs. I'll just hover. Watch yourself. There is a secret weapon when you're doing locks. The secret weapon is the volunteers. You get CRT volunteers, Canal and River Trust volunteers, volunteer lock keepers, and they help you with the locks. And they are always really nice, always really helpful, and always really friendly. And if you see one, it's like seeing a four leaf clover. <laughs> it's a lucky charm. It's four o'clock on Sunday. That is the end of our first full day on board. We had a great day. We did 31 locks, uh, which was actually really good fun. You get a rhythm going. With the three, we had three of us, someone driving, two people doing the locks. It was brilliant. As you can see, the weather has been superb. It's September, it's autumn, it's glorious. Basically, I can't wait for the rest. This is fantastic. Awesome. There are more people coming now. I'm gonna go and get myself something to drink. It's day three, it's early in the morning, um, and last night, we had a fantastic evening, went to bed, had a great night's sleep, and this morning I woke up really early. So I thought, rather than lie in bed and waste the time and think about the state of the world, which is quite depressing at the minute, I thought I'd go for a walk. So I opened the doors, went out, and it is an amazing, amazing morning. It was, there were just banks of mist. There was mist rolling along the canal and mist on the hills. So I went for a walk along the towpath, and at first, all you could hear was the birds, just the little birds in the hedgerows you went past, and there was like, there was a heron that flew off, and ducks, and squirrels were playing. And then, as it got lighter, I started to hear traffic. Because I remembered we're only a mile from a big motorway, the M42. So, that, so the bird song sort of faded a bit as the traffic came on. And then, I started to meet people on the towpath. Not many, just one or two. And everyone's sort of, you know, sleepy but polite. And so, the truth is, it is, well, it's about half eight. 
And already the day has been superb. Quite frankly, I don't care what happens. It's been awesome. <laughs> and apparently I'm gonna get sunshine later, so the awesomeness is just gonna continue. So hey, here's to canal holidays, love them. for 14 days and there are a few tunnels along the way but this is a really long tunnel it's about 2,700 yards long which I think is around a mile and a half ish so uh, bear in mind we're going at walking speed it could take 30 minutes to go through this tunnel it's two-way so if we see another boat coming that's fine but it's very close and I'm not sure what it's gonna be like driving for 30 minutes in the dark might be a bit weird. Who knows what will be like when we come out the other side. Might all be screaming. Hey, only one way to find out. Hey, man. Mike, I can't steer. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Stan. Uh, 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 uh. What I've just noticed, if you look over the front of the boat, the ceiling is perfectly reflected in the water. So it looks, it looks as if we're floating over about 16 feet of perfectly clear semicircular water. It's like we're floating halfway up through the tunnel. It's totally an optical illusion, but it looks fantastic. You get this amazing optical illusion. It looks as if the canal, which actually is about two feet of muddy, stinky, horrible water, it looks as if you're floating over this beautiful, crystal clear, dish-shaped tunnel of water. I should probably have done this earlier. But uh, this is a map of the route we're going on. We're actually going to do a, a thing called a ring. So this is where we started, Stoke Prior. Really nice. We did four locks or five locks. We stopped for the night there. We've done hundreds of locks yesterday at Tardy Big. Do, 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 do. Through a couple of tunnels and we stopped in Alve Church. Today we've done an enormous long tunnel. We're going past all these bibbly bobbly bits here. And we're going to stop here at Earlswood. Basically, we've started on the Worcester and Birmingham Canal. After the tunnel we just did, we're now on the Stratford-upon-Avon Canal, the northern arm. But then in a couple of days, we'll be on the Stratford-upon-Avon Canal, southern arm. It's really complicated. And then we hit Stratford-on-Avon, which is on Avon, the River Avon. So we're going to join the River Avon, come all the way down here, and then join the River Severn, go all the way up, back along the Droitwich Canal, onto the Worcester and Birmingham. So there you go. It's very complicated, but we'll, we'll, we'll mention it as we go. I feel like I'm David Attenborough, like I'm talking about something in the wild, but that is Robin taking our boat, the Joy, through a guillotine lock. You don't see many of these. In fact, this is the only one I've seen like this ever in my travels. There might be more on the canals, but I haven't seen them. It's a guillotine lock, so it, that thing comes down and stops the water. But I don't think water, yeah, it's very interesting. It's all to do with the water companies stopping each other from nicking the other person's water, I believe.
greasing the nipple. I am greasing the nipple. Today has been a very uh, enjoyable day. It started, started off with an early morning misty walk. So I strolled off the boat, went through the mist, and then we got going and we went through an incredible tunnel. That really was awesome. I said the feeling when the light is right and the shadows are there, you feel like you're floating through space. It's gorgeous. And then uh, we spent the afternoon literally poodling along through a gorgeous sort of green valley that sort of skirts the south end of Birmingham. And we stopped and had lunch on the front of the boat at a picnic. It is just paradise. Paradise at three miles an hour. And tonight we've moored up and there's a pub just up the road and um, we'll be heading there. And that's what I like about canal holidays. I was thinking, every day's been different, but the same. You know, you sit off on the boat and you end up in a pub <laughs> and you have a good night's sleep. But we've done different things every day. So one day we've been doing locks. Today it was mainly about the tunnel and the pootling along. And I don't know what tomorrow will be. It's a, yeah, it's an ever ending sort of changing, shifting pattern of pleasures. I love it. One of the great things about canal boat holidays is moments like this when uh, I've opened the paddles, the lock is filling with water, and it's going to take three or four minutes, maybe five minutes. So I just get to sit here in this beautiful dappled sunlight in a green leafy glade and just think about nothing and watch apples bob about on the water. Because there's lots of apple trees by the canals and they all fall in and they, they follow us down the canal. It's great. There's a lock just behind the camera and I'm waiting for the lock to empty for all the water to go away so we can come out. And I notice behind me there is a lock keeper's cottage. That's where they used to be. The little building was where the person who looked after the lock, that's where they, they lived. And the roof, you'll see in a minute, the roof is like it's like a semicircle, like half a barrel or something. And I was told, I was told the reason they're that shape is when they made the bridges, they used wooden formers that were sort of barrel shaped to hold the bricks in place while you're making the bridge. And then when they finished with the formers, they take them out and they use them to make the roofs of the lock keeper's cottages. So it's like recycling or upcycling. I don't know if it's true, but it's a great story. Anyway, just gotta go and open the lock gate now. It is, uh, what is it? It's seven o'clock on the evening of day four of three men on one narrow boat for two weeks. And I have to say, today has been pretty much perfect. It has been the perfect day. If paradise exists, days like this 
will be in it. Let me talk you through quickly. Woke up this morning, went for a walk at around dawn, and we had more just like this tonight, under these amazing a canopy of trees. And when I got up, the water was completely smooth, and the trees were reflected, so it was just incredible. It's like this double height canopy of trees on the water. Went for a walk, found a bakery next to the canal that was open, so we all went for breakfast and we had takeaway, socially distanced takeaway, um, sausage, bacon, and egg butties. And then we set off, and the sun was shining, fit to crack the stones. Uh, and we did a load of locks, I think 30 three locks we did today but you know what it was fantastic we met loads of lovely people one of the things you find on the canal is there are loads of lovely people who without it saying a word help you with the locks either in other boats or they're volunteers or they're just walking by so that was amazing and then this afternoon the wind changed can you hear so it's beautiful sunshine baking hot we're all wearing shorts sun cream on and the wind changed and it cooled down and tomorrow it's going to be rain but you know what I don't care I, I'm looking forward to that too the main thing is we've stopped we've found an incredibly quiet place there's no one around we have beers on board and once again the two cooks will be cooking tonight and uh, I believe we're gonna have paella so we've had amazing food all day all week and tonight's gonna be no exception so there you go end of day four it has been glorious Cheers. perks of doing the locks is you get to enjoy the view. So look at this. Beautiful sky, beautiful horizon and trees and there's a field, that field there's a little path that leads silently over the horizon and out of sight. I'd love to go along it and see what's there but we don't have time. In other news, I've decided, I've decided this holiday, I've decided that this holiday I'm going to wear sandals with socks with no shame. Uh, it makes life easier when you push in the lock gates. So there you go. Yes, laugh all you wish people, I've joined the sad sack club of people who love and appreciate the joy and pleasure and comfort of wearing socks with sandals, or rather socks with Birkenstocks. Socks and stocks, that's what I'm wearing. Ah, oh, it's good. Meanwhile, back to the view. It's a sort of rainy, overcast grey day. But here's the proof of the pudding with canal boats. I'm in heaven. Literally, standing here. I can either stand here with a tiller, or I can sit down. Ah. Oh. Or, if I get bored, I can do this. Whoa. And stand here with the tiller. Or sit down. <laughs> or stand up. Or sit down. See, I mean, so here's what I was thinking. It's like a square metre, I reckon. And I re this really is my happy place. I know I go on about it. I know I'm incredibly boring about how much I enjoy narrowboats. But this space, this bit here, someone said, hmm, where's the one place you are always truly happy? Or will last truly happy? You'd have to say, this part of the boat. Is it the stern near the back? The stern. The steery, sterny bit. 
I love it. Even in the rain, come rain or sun. Imagine snow would be pretty awesome too, but I've never had that. But yeah, it's just lovely. So I thought I'd share that with you. It's lovely. There are lots of bridges on this canal, as indeed there are on virtually every canal. But the bridges in this canal, they're like black and white cast iron, really pretty little things that sort of meet like this. Except, except usually there is a line between where they meet. And that was because, start of a 10, why were they built like that? I'll tell you, they were built like that because in the old days, as we all know, these boats were towed by horses and there was a rope from the horse to the boat, the tow rope, and the bridges were built like this, so the tow rope could go through the bridge without having to take the horse off one end or the boat off the other. So there you go. That's a lot of them have been filled in now. So this is a water point, and the water goes from here into our boat. I'll show you that in a second. The most important thing is, when you turn this tap, the water starts flowing. I just turned the tap, and water started spurting out. And Magic Mike said, no, 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 Stan, you're doing it wrong. Let me show you how to do it right. He's changed it. I'm going to turn the tap on. Let's see if water comes spurting out. Ready? In. Get in. He <laughs> was right. Yeah, that has to be a first time for everything. Anyway, so the water's coming from here. If you want to walk this way, walk this way, I'll show you. It's going round and round the wiggly blue pipe. Round and round and round. All the way. Why don't you step on board, Mike? <laughs> yeah. Sure, you won't fall in. <laughs> so the water is coming out of here. And it's going in a big tank at the front of the boat. That's how the water gets from the tap, the land, into your boat, and then you use it. But the most important thing we've learned today is don't let Mike interfere and prove that I'm wrong and he's right, because I will never hear the end of it. Ah, oh, disaster. Hello. Whoa. Oh. Wow. Ah! Hello. Shall I give him some bread? Uh, what, you mean encourage him to come? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Can I get some bread? Rob, can you get some piece of bread? Yeah, but, you, but aren't you just encouraging him? Yeah, it doesn't matter. They said that, and then so loads of swans thing. starved. Loads yeah. of swans and ducks starved to death. <laughs> Don't give them bread, it's really bad for them, and then they starve. Here is an animal training a human. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like, who's training who here? Ah! Oh, ah! Freakosaurus. Daddy, oh, I'm sorry, I screamed then, didn't I? I didn't mean to scream. Watch me beer. Uh, anything else going to happen? There's more going to come. Yep, Whoa. here comes a It's fine, well, come on, come on. Here it comes, look. And these are even more scary than... Oh, look, there's more. Geese aren't scary. Day five, and we've discovered that Mike, Magic Mike the cameraman, is terrified of geese and swans. Uh, Whoa, hang on. I'm a, I'm a little bit, okay, okay, okay. So, oh, wow, wow. One thing we, fu we found out, right, day five, what have we learned today, people? What we, wow, what, we, what we've learned is <laughs> swans are really quite scary when you get up close. Geese, for all their size, they're really cute. Actually, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna move slightly this way because this swan is getting really quite close. But um, 
Okay, hello. It's kind of like an unfriendly dog that wants a biscuit. It's weird, isn't it? It is weird. You've given it bread and now it wants more. <clears throat> a, a taste of honey is never enough. I'm used to that. It happens to me all the time. Uh, what the heck? What the? Robert, seriously, I think I might need more bread or else we're going to die tonight. I wonder if you can train swans. Like, no, the swan's training you. But can you train a swan like you do with dogs? Like, you know, because with my dog, I've got, you know, you know, my dogs, Rufus and Mabel. You, you train them to take treats gently, you say gentle, and they, so my the grandkids can give them treats, so they re -gent they have soft mouths, you know, they're gentle. Can you do it with swans? That's the question. I'm going to go with probably no. Wow, swans, there's, I mean, there's only a, it's only a beak, for goodness sake. But it looks quite serious. Where's the scary. It's scary, but the goose, the goose is just so lovely. Oi, swan, there you go. Oh, and there's a lady duck there. I have to say, if it was a competition for the prettiest, prettiest waterfowl, I'd give it to the Canada goose. I don't even care what gender it identifies as. But right now, I think I'm going to move. <laughs> I'm actually going to move to get away from the swan. We've just had a lovely time in Stratford, which involved ice cream and coffee. It's lovely, really nice. But sadly now, the thunder clouds have rolled in, the thunder is rattling our eardrums and raindrops are falling. But we don't care. This is boating weather, we're gonna head for the river now. So we're in the lock, just waiting for the water to go. And then we'll be off onto the living water at the Stratford-upon-Avon, Avon. That's it, on the Avon. See that white boat there, yeah. up towards that level of the woods? In fact, no, he's drifting now. Yeah, so sort of basically, yeah, there. So probably round past that white sign, probably past that white sign, actually. We'll see. Let's go over to that bank and have a look. Oh, my trousers. Can you pass my trousers, Mike, out there? I'm in the wardrobe. like four seasons in one day we've got hail now an hour ago we were sitting outside beautiful sunshine had an ice cream this morning it was raining now it's hail who knows what the afternoon will bring i can't remember what day number we're up to mike what do you think of this five or six i think it's six we think it's probably day six uh we traveled today on the boat approximately 200 feet from Stratford Canal to the River Avon uh, and after that we went for to the pub uh, and then we went for a meal. I am now drinking whiskey. Is it from Little again or Aldi? Little. 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 I'm drinking a little whiskey from Little, a little little whiskey. Which apparently it's not as good as the Aldi whiskey we had last night but personally I think they're both are pretty much the same. It smells peaty and smoky and to my mind, a little bit of awful, but I still like it. Although I've got ice in it, which is a bit wrong. Hang on. And now I'm going to show you how the rest of the evening is going to go. It's going to go like this. Boo yeah. Good night. So, sure. day seven was awesome. It was my idea. I sorted it out, so I naturally assumed that I would be considered the captain of the ship. Turns out that's not the case. People sometimes ask me, will the house minds ever get back together again? Well, the exciting news this morning is we have just got back together again. <laughs> <laughs>